Welcome to the fifth tutorial in my beginner series on Oculus Quest 2 development. In the previous tutorials we set up your Quest 2 and your PC in preparation for VR development. We also installed a number of useful tools. We will now download and install the main application, which we will be using to create VR experiences. The Unity Editor. You can install Unity on your PC directly. However, it is recommended that you do so instead via a little launcher app called the Unity Hub. Unity Hub basically allows you to download, install and manage multiple versions of the Unity Editor on your machine. It also functions as a central point from where you can find, manage and launch all your Unity projects. Why would you want to have multiple versions of the editor on one machine? Well, you may have a personal project where you want to try out a cutting edge experimental feature that's only available in the latest version of Unity. Yet simultaneously, you may have client projects where stability is important. So for this, you may want to use an older, but more fully tested version of the editor. Anyhow, let's go and download Unity Hub. Please be aware, I will be using a Windows 10 PC in this tutorial. In your web browser, navigate to the Unity Game Engine homepage, unity.com. In the top navbar, click on the Get Started button. On the Plans and Pricing page, click on the Individual tab. As someone who is just starting to learn Unity, you are eligible for a free license. In fact, you are not required to use a paid subscription until you have a revenue in excess of $100,000 earned in connection with your use of Unity. Unless you are a student, the free personal plan is most likely to be the best fit for you. In any case, select the plan that best fits your needs. If you selected the personal plan, you will be taken straight to Unity's download page. In the top part of the page, click on the blue Download for Windows button. Choose to save the file to disk. Once the setup file has finished downloading, Go to your Downloads folder. Now double click on the Unity Hub Setup executable. The Unity Hub installer should start. Follow the instructions. Once the installation has finished, Unity Hub should launch. You will be greeted with a welcome screen with a large sign-in button. As a new Unity user, however, you will want to click the Create Account link. This will open a page in your browser where you will be prompted to create a Unity ID. Fill in the form. You will be sent an email to validate your account. OK, here we are back in the Unity Hub. We are now signed in with our new Unity account. A welcome message should appear. Click Got It. Next, a panel will appear, prompting you to install a Unity editor. We don't want to install the suggested version. So let's click on Skip Installation. Also, before we install an editor, we want to check the install location. Click on the cog icon at the top of the sidebar. This will take you to Preferences. From the Preferences panel, select Installs from the sidebar. Make sure the Installs location is on a disk with plenty of space, as each Unity Editor installation will take up a fair bit of disk space. OK, let's get on and install a version of Unity. Close the Preferences panel. Check the sidebar to make sure you are in the Installs section. Now go over to the top right of the app and click on the Install Editor button. The Install Unity Editor panel will appear. The Official Releases tab should be selected. You may notice that some releases are tagged with the letters LTS after the version number, while others are not. The LTS stands for Long Term Support. These LTS releases are the most stable. They have been developed for some time and have had their feature set locked in. Further updates are simply to fix bugs and improve stability. I would recommend using LTS for professional work where stability is important. The other official releases are known as TechStream releases. They are less mature and their features are still being actively developed. Hence, there's a risk that they may therefore be less stable and more buggy. If you want more info on LTS versus TechStream releases, take a look at this page on the Unity website. The link is in the description. 
OK, let's now select a version of the Unity Editor to install. At the time of recording this tutorial, in January 2022, I would suggest installing the latest 2021 release. It is true that this is not yet a long-term support release. However, it seems to be pretty stable and I expect it will achieve LTS status in the next couple of months. So, let's go ahead and select the latest 2021 release of the Unity Editor. A panel will appear, listing the number of optional modules which can be added to the core installation. Since we are going to be developing for the Quest, it is crucial that you tick Android Build Support, including both of the sub-modules, the Android SDK and NDK tools, and the Open JDK. It is also important to install Microsoft Visual Studio, since we are going to need a code editor. So make sure that this is ticked also. Now click on the Continue button. Tick the box to agree to Visual Studio's license terms and click Continue. Agree to the Android SDK license terms and click Install. The Unity Editor will now install, and subsequently so will Visual Studio. We now have version 2021 of the Unity Editor installed on your PC. This concludes the tutorial. In the next video we will create your first Unity project for the Oculus Quest. You'll find a link to the next video in the description below.